Hi there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Nuez and Sock. Welcome back from more Grand Theft Auto Online. We're over here at the uh, the beach, Vespucci Beach. A little too early. See, all the places are closed over there still. It's funny. They actually do close. Some people don't know that, but yeah, some things change the game. I wish more did. But depending on the time of day that you come down here. Now, it can be changed because I think quite often, as long as I stay here, it won't change until I until there's no players around to see it, you know. Kind of to give the illusion. Oh, see? Oh, <laughs> can't believe I just caught that. Yeah, look away and boom, all gone. So, yeah. Open, just like that. How did that happen? Magic. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey. I wonder if all these tattoos are available or just the pictures. Cool. Tattoo shop. And piercings. <laughs> all right. I want t shirts, too. <laughs> so, uh, today is an update, yeah, back to what we're doing on the Pyro, yeah, so I thought I'd do a quick little update on it. Um, so it seems like uh, we want to update our information, so maybe, apparently, it is the fastest uh, fighter jet in the game. Now, I was trying to find out if it is the fastest plane, and it might actually be the fastest plane in the game. Now, it looks like there's a lot of mixed testing, and I think some of that has to do with, uh, well, some people think, and I agree, that uh, that there, there's been some updates on Rockstar's part. Um, you know, uh, uh, thanks for, for uh, mentioning that, uh, Steve. Even the visual. <laughs> yeah. I did check out Gilly Master's channel, and uh, yeah, you know, in one of his other episodes, he was actually, um, uh, I think it was with his uh, Bambushka versus the Volotov, I think. But in there, he's talking about how he thinks that uh, they updated the uh, the handling because when he tests the Bambushka again, it handles much better. You know, in a later episode for him, and a lot of people agree that we talked a little while ago about the uh, the Cargo Bob that we use a lot, and a lot of people use it a lot. I, I think uh, Tweed, I think you might have mentioned a long time ago, but a lot of people, and this might have even been. Just before Smuggler's Run, people noticed that the uh, the cargo bob had changed somehow, and that it was slightly better and it able to lift things better, you know. But it was a hard to measure kind of thing. But uh, I definitely noticed because I use cargo bob all the time, and uh, you know it's still a pain. I think I think the one car you you take uh, the is it the Roosevelt Valor. I think is the heaviest one and it's still a pain now but it's no nowhere near as heavy as, and hard as it used to be in the cargo bob and, and when i used to do it in my first episodes yeah anyway so they do do some changes so i wonder if that has something to do with the mixed testing that i kept on coming across looks like the gta wiki needs to be updated usually wikis are eh, but the gta one's actually pretty good they usually do a fairly good job actually uh, but not in this case so maybe one thumb down for them <laughs> but usually they do a good job actually um but in this case they they mentioned that and it was a little bit off and i did looked up some more things and you know you do see some mixed testing though because there is differences when you look at acceleration versus top speed versus um uh, quick turning, you know, it's like dogfighting, which is uh, your ability to bank really fast, um, which, you know, the uh, the pyro really scores really well, but, you know, in some ways, the uh, LF-22 Starling that we're going to get coming up, probably in an episode or two, uh, I'm going to do some grinding, I think, but uh, that one um, uh, apparently does turn better because you can kill the engine and it's a glider, so it'll actually turn faster than most, if not all, other planes in the game. So there's different types of measurements on what the fastest is, I suppose. But as far as top speed goes, yes, this soon seems to be it, which is awesome. So thanks for bringing that to my attention. Yeah, for those that are wondering, you know, at least um, uh, in Chili Master, or um, uh, Gilly Ma <laughs> Chili Master, <laughs> we'll have to find out the Chili Master too. But Gilly Master, um, who does some, uh, a lot of uh, uh, guides for um, weaponry and uh, tactics, and it looks like a lot of airplane, uh, uh, airplane pilot type uh, guides. And I actually, I think he does a pretty good uh, job testing. You know, we've talked about using Bruffy 1322 for uh, my testing, for the car testing before. Uh, I find he does great, reliable car testing. It's hard to find good testers, guys. Like, I'll tell you, 90% of the testing you see online is, is not reliable. It's, you know, there's a certain way you got to do it to try to avoid certain glitches and bugs and lag things and other issues in the game that can give you false results. Anyway, um, Gilly Master seems to do a great job. So in his testing, for those that are curious, the top speed seemed to be the pyro at about roughly in his little test, and this is just with his short track um, across the, uh, the airport, it'd be about uh, the pyro being 174 miles per hour, and the Hydra being 171, just below it. The Rogue being about 170, which is nice to see. The Rogue's does, uh, Rogue actually shows up really well in everything. I think I am going to get one, but I might wait and see if they have a sale or not on Tuesday. We'll see. Uh, but they're fairly good price anyway, just over a million. The Starling is uh, 170 miles, so it's not as fast as people think. Even though the boost gives it the top acceleration, it really doesn't have necessarily the top speed, as much as people sometimes, uh, 
think it does. The Molotov is actually slower, but I do like it. It's very hand, good hand handling. It's 161 miles, and uh, the Nakoda is just under that 159, and the laser is 154, which is kind of sad. They need to upgrade the, the uh, laser. I wonder if they nerfed it way back like they did the tank from single player, way back before we had all these other new toys. Acceleration is a little different, so the Starling is obviously the number one in, uh, in acceleration, and believe it or not, the Seabreeze actually shows up as number two. And the Laser Nakoda are roughly tied for third for acceleration, the Pyro and Molotov are fourth, um, and the Rogue is uh, fifth, and uh, sixth would be Hydra. So, now that's just uh, his testing, but he seems to do a good job testing. Let's get this guy starting to rain. Now I will say, as I said in the comments, that air vehicles are probably the hardest vehicles to test in the game, guys. You know, because it's so hard to, like a car, you can line up on the exact same piece of road and get a sense of how fast different cars are going. But, you know, in a plane, it's much harder to line them up exactly the same, you know, in the exact same part of the sky to get the exact same track, in a sense, if you know what I mean. So, they're probably one of the hardest things to look up testing on. And uh, like we've said about race cars, you know, in many ways it's more about the hands that it's in. It's more about the pilot you are, about your luck, <laughs> about the terrain you're in, you know. Like a buzzard in the sky is, uh, you know, not a sitting duck, but an easier target for a good pilot, right? But a buzzard in the city can actually be pretty deadly in the right pilot's hands, you know. If he knows how to hide around the buildings and go inside the tunnels and go under the uh, parking garages and stuff, a buzzard can shoot you down. You know, so it really all depends on the, the pilot in many ways, right? Um, you know, and the pilot you're up against, of course, and how many of them, you know, that kind of thing. And I suppose what you're up to. Sometimes you, you don't want to fight. Sometimes you're trying to get the cargo home, <laughs> you know. Woohoo. So that is our, uh, our uh, pyro update. I just wanted to say that and let you guys know that. It was our last episode, so it was a great time to put this update right in right away. Why not, right? And some people also wondered um, uh, if the uh, if they, well, one I liked better, the Pyro or the Nakoda. And I would say the Pyro. You know, although I do love my Nakoda, I don't regret it, buying it at all. I love it. <laughs> it's awesome. But uh, between the two of them, I would probably pick the Pyro. It seats two, and it's very fast and awesome, just like we just said. And great weaponry. Very similar, because neither one has bombs. Now, the Nakoda is cheaper, though. A lot cheaper. I think it's like $1.4 million cheaper. So, you know, if price is an issue, then the Nakoda definitely shines. Um, but if you can afford the price or catch a sale or uh, maybe an account sale if they do them in the future, then uh, maybe get the Pyro then. Woohoo! Oh, hoo And I love how quickly this just fires back up. How you can just kill the engine like this and then get it going like that. Just It's like it didn't even turn off. <laughs> you know? It's awesome. I love that. Takes a little bit of getting used to when I've got the uh, the, the uh, race handling on it. Yeah, we'll land. All right. So that's an update. We're going to be getting the Starling coming up. I think I'm going to actually do some laid back grinding. So some people requested that. I <laughs> think purple rain. Hello. And uh, we'll see about doing some other things while we're doing it too. Maybe some shout outs and other stuff I've been meaning to do for a long time. Yeah, before we uh, get further. Yeah, and I gotta make some money before we uh, get our Starling. I can afford it, but you know, money's waiting, might as well make it. And then it's always good to buy your vehicles when they're uh, building back up again, right? Make more money. So some people, if I wonder if I use shark cards, no, no, I don't. Uh, I've never used a single shark card yet, as we've said about in our earlier episodes. You know, I did start with money though. Like, uh, like a lot of people's games start with money, and mine started with uh, 1.2 million. And I learned later. I didn't even understand it as a newbie. But later on, I learned that that is a shark card number that comes with your game. So, you know, I tell people, and in the interest of honesty, I technically used one shark card when I started. The beginning money that came with it. But that 1.2 million did not go very far. <laughs> you know, in today's world. Yeah. But hey, it helps. Yeah, I think I got a deal on the game at the time, like a long time ago, and it came with it. Yeah. Cool. So there's our Nakoda over there. I just wanted to show anybody who was comparing them. 
So yeah, definitely I'd pick the Pyro over it, but they're a close comparison, you know, but when you really think about it, they're not an equal comparison because the Nakoda is 1.4 million cheaper and it only seats one. So yeah, so there's nothing to keep in mind about that. But either way, like I said, I like mine. It's cool. But between the two, if I had to pick one, yeah, the Pyro. All right, everybody, well, I'll see you back here, I think, for some more laid back grinding. Yeah. And I'll see you back for that. And uh, then we'll get ourselves a Starling and maybe some other stuff. I might even get an Ultra Glider. I think I still have to get one of those before uh, the sale's done. Just to have one for the collection. <laughs> All right, take care, everybody. I'm the Wizard Sock. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. We'll see you again soon, everybody. Probably very, very soon. Just wanted to do that little bit of an update for the Pyro. The Buckingham Pyro. <laughs> I don't know if I can land in cinematic though. Uh, running out of runway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Decent break. Now we just need an aircraft carrier. And we could launch this no problem. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Gotta think like a jet, not a helicopter. Give myself some time. Hmm. <laughs> we get a lock on for a split second. She's just a little too quick for that. First time using it on a head hunter just for the fun of it. Jets are awesome, but sometimes it can be hard to hit those little spots. But it's good practice. See, no one to highlight it. 
Let's try it from back here. There we go. That's the trick. You just gotta think a little bit further back when you're in a jet. A little bit faster, too. <laughs> yeah. Things go wrong really quick. <laughs> but I guess they would say you won't feel it and it'll just all be over. <laughs> Real quick. Alright. Let's see if we can dive bomb. Where are you? Did not get a lock. Anyway, oh. Whoa. yeah, I think the problem is jet's range is just not what it needs to be for the speed. Go on for stationary targets like that. you're in a jet, he's just over here. <laughs> and I'm so used to being in a helicopter sometimes that I just pop right in on it a little too strong. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> That's the trick. Lots of missiles. <laughs> I think that was the cup we were highlighting. We want the target. There we go. There we go. like the bat wing. <laughs> what? Let's hold hands. So, uh, hey guys, I think we're about to crash into the sun. Yeah, but it's gonna look really cool. Take care, everybody. Yeah. This could serve as our bat wing, couldn't it? I think it could. <laughs> Although um, perhaps the Volotov or something might be better. It's very big though. Hmm.
<laughs> yeah, she makes it. She does not want to reverse. Only for it. <laughs> well, I guess that's that. We lost our wheels. That's why. <laughs> well, that'll do it. <laughs> Charge. <laughs> 